In this video, we will use chi-square test to calculate p-value. So chi-square test is used to determine if variation is due to chance or if it is caused by one of the variables that we are actually testing. So typically, what is set? If p is greater than 0 0.05, we typically say the variables are independent. No statistically significant difference kind of like 95% sure. Now if p is less than 0 0.05, the variables we believe are not independent. Statistically significant difference. And so when to use chi-square test? Only can you use for categorical data like gender, color, shape, material, not for numerical data like height, weight, size, and volume. Numbers must be large enough, typically greater than five, but the bigger the better. Now in order to calculate chi-square test to determine p-value, uh, these are generally four steps. First, state your hypothesis. As an example, gender and preference for STEM fields are independent, or gender and preference for STEM fields are not independent. Number two, organize the data. We'll show an example to get chi-square value. Three, calculate p from chi-square value will either use a table of values or a chi-square calculator. And four, confirm or reject the hypothesis. So this is an example. Now, just as a side note, these are hypothetical numbers, not research, top of my head. Survey asks 500 males and 400 females if they prefer STEM fields or non-STEM fields. The findings are as follows. 400 males said they prefer STEM fields. 100 males said they preferred non-STEM fields. 250 females said they preferred STEM fields. 150 females said they preferred non-STEM fields. So the first thing that we need to do is state a hypothesis. Mine is gonna be gender and preference for STEM fields are not independent. Then we create a table based off our given information. We have males, female, STEM, non-STEM. We said 400 males preferred STEM, 100 males preferred non-STEM, 250 women preferred STEM, 150 women preferred non-STEM. This right here in white. Now I need to add more stuff. So I need to create this part right here. So 400 plus 250 is 650 people preferred STEM fields. 100 plus 150, 250. 250 people prefer non-STEM. How many total males do we have? 400 plus 100, we get 500. How many total females do we have? 250 plus 150, we get 400. And now we add 500 plus 400 is 900, or 650 plus 250 is 900. And this will always be the case where this set of number is equal to this set of number. Next, we need to calculate the expected value. And in order to calculate the expected value, I'm taking this number right here, 500, times this number right here, 650, divided by total, 900. Likewise, 500, because I'm, I'm, doing, I'm using males, 500 males, times 250, right here, 250 non-stem, divided by 900. Females, I have 400 females, 400 times 650, people who preferred STEM, divided by 900. Likewise, 400 total females times non-STEM, 250 total, divided by total 900. And this part remains the same. So now I calculated. I'm, all I'm doing is using a calculator and saying 500 times 650 divided by 900. What is that value? That value is this, 361.1 repeating, likewise, these were the remaining numbers. Now we need to use a formula, actual minus expected. We square it, then divide by expected. So there was actually 400 males who preferred STEM. Actual is 400 minus expected, this value. We square it, divided by expected, divided by this term. Another example, 100 here, 100 minus expected this value, square it, divided by the expected here. 
Same thing for this one, we had a 250, actual minus this value, close parentheses, squared, divided by expected. Lastly, 150 minus this value, parentheses, squared, divided by expected. And now I just calculated it. So I did 400 minus this value, squared, divided by this value, and we would get this value. And likewise, I did it for the three remaining values. Now we calculate chi-square value. In order to do so, we add this value, this value, this value, and this value, and we would get 33.9231. And this is just a, a general formula for chi-square, where O is the observed minus expected. So we pretty much did this right here. We did it here. And we're getting the summation which we did right here, so same thing. Now this is a side note. When you flip a coin, there's a 50-50 shot for heads and tails. However, actually, when you flip a coin, let's say for me, I flip a coin 100 times, I may get 60 heads. This right here is the observed value. But the expected value, when you flip a coin 100 times, is that you would get 50 heads. So that's kind of what, that's kind of what I mean by observed and expected. Now we need to calculate P from the chi-square value. But first, we need to calculate the degree of freedom, which is going to be rows minus 1 times columns minus 1. So we have two rows, stem and non-stem, and we have two columns, males and females. So 2 minus 1 times 2 minus 1, and I get 1 for my degree of freedom. Next, I will use a chi-square calculator. If you go online, just type chi-square calculator and we will enter 33.9231 for our chi-square value and one for our degree of freedom and this will give us a p-value of 5.705 times 10 raised to negative 9. Or if you have a stats book or a bio book, you may have a table for chi-square and degree of freedom to get p. Now earlier we said that if p is less than 0.05, we say that the variables we believe are not independent statistically significant difference. And in our case, this value is less than 0.05. So we believe gender and preference for STEM fields are not independent. Or you could say there is a statistical relationship between gender and preference to STEM fields. And that's pretty much it regarding chi-square test using p-value. In the next video, I will use chi-square test using critical value